Yes, the state said yes to their school districts last night, passing an overwhelming majority of re referendums on the ballot. Now the most expensive one right here in Dane County, the Middleton Cross Plains School District. Keely Arthur shows us how they'll use that money. The halls inside Middleton's high school are pretty bare right now, but when the bell rings, things look entirely different. The building has been crowded for a long time. Middleton Cross Plains is the fastest growing school district in Dane County, and with that, their music program is reaching a new high note. We have uh, a great growth in our department, and the rooms just can't handle the size. So when orchestra teacher Steve Kerr heard a referendum to upgrade the Middleton High School, Good. including its fine arts facility passed, it was music to his ears. Our district, both administration and the parents, really support their students and their musical activities. It shows nearly 70% of voters in the district approved two referendum questions totaling $143.7 million, the most expensive in the state. The money goes far beyond the music department. It will cover a new elementary school, an early childhood center, and other renovations. And many other districts are moving to the same beat. At least 20 in our viewing area alone passed referendums, and 76 school referendum questions out of 82 were approved statewide, showing that districts and taxpayers are more in tune than ever before. With the election of our state superintendent of schools, uh, that's already putting education in the spotlight of the election. In Middleton, Keely Arthur, WISC News 3. Now that Middleton referendum will cost about $200 a year for every $100,000 in assessed property value. For a breakdown of all of those referendums across the area, go to channel3000.com.